Across Madagascar, the humid tropical climate, rich natural resources and long history of rice cultivation has made this island country an ideal place for rice plantations. Yet due to the lack of financial support and agricultural infrastructure, the low yield of the local rice still poses threat of hunger for local people. Over a decade ago, a team of Chinese agricultural experts came to Madagascar with the simple goal of helping local farmers planting productive hybrid rice. But this idea was not very well received. In the beginning, local farmers couldn't believe or understand that our hybrid rice can be as productive as we said. Some even called our hybrid rice monster rice. Tough as it was, Zhang Lijun and his team members visited nearly all the rice paddies nationwide to cultivate high yield seeds. And in the following years, the stable and high production of hybrid rice proved to be the best testament. This progress cannot be made without the efforts of the Chinese experts and the guidance of China's father of hybrid rice, Yuan Longping. The production of local rice is about 2.5 tons per hectare and the average production on the 20,000 hectares that we planted is 7 tons. So the production not only doubled, but even tripled. Add to that, the highest harvest of the rice has reached 10.8 tons per hectare earlier this year. And some local farmers who planted hybrid rice not only had enough to eat, they even had enough to improve their livelihood. One of the farmers that we work with made some income by selling extra rice and building new homes and accommodating them with appliances. The increasing yields of hybrid rice has not only made its popularity among local farmers, but even wider range. And now the image of the hybrid rice has made its appearance on the note of local currency. Hybrid rice is not only helping people in Madagascar to reach their self-sufficiency in rice, but other African countries as well. And the efforts will continue as this is the long-cherished hope of China's father of hybrid rice. For the welfare of, of the people, all of, of my lifelong wishes.